go on. So tonight we're making pizza. From scratch. From Apart scratch. from we've been lazy and we're not bothering with the dough, we're just getting the dough mixed. But it's still got, it's got yeast and the flour and we've got to let it rise and all that fancy stuff that you do with bread. So, um, do you want to read the instructions? Yeah. Just add water. Nice and easy. No. Just remember before you roll your sleeves and get baking, make sure you've got the following. We have. What was all of them? Oh, oil and cling film. Yeah, we've got it. Right, so what do we do? You can't read, can you? No. Oh. Okay. We did well with title. So this is the um, this is the pizza mix that we're using tonight. Can you pause? Okay. It's from Asda. Bake your own base, then add TikTok toppings. Make two pieces uh, pizzas. Pieces per box, and we've got three boxes. Would you like to show the um, viewers the ingredients? Where are we? We've got pa uh, That's warmish. Amazon over there. Enough for yeast to wrap anyway. <laughs> I've had the Baileys this afternoon. So pepperoni. Pepperoni. Cheese. Pepperoni. <laughs> Cheese. Sauce. Pizza topping, you mean? Pineapple. Chunks. Tomato puree. And I'm just blending the ingredients. I'm not sure why we've got garlic bread when we're making a pizza. Oh, well, I just got it because it's ciabatta and says if you like ciabatta. Rocky salad. Rocky? What is it, a film? Dry ham. Cheese! Grated mozzarella for the top and vine ripened cherry tomatoes. So, what's happening now? Uh, Nick's uh, stuff in his face. So, I didn't have popcorn. we've put two packets in. Oh, yeah. You've opened them already? Yeah. Uh, get mixed in a mix with a fork until it forms a bowl, a, a bowl of dough. That says Lena do that. Yeah. That looks awfully runny. Ooh, we should put a bit in at the Yeah, you're mixing flour, Sarah. You're not mixing flour. Oh, do you know? <laughs> I'm going to need to drop my water. You can't. You can't? No! You've got to mix it in, it says. 100ml of warm water or 200ml for two packets. Get them into a... with a fork until it forms into a ball of dough. Oh well. Two glasses it is. As it's Comedy Kitchen, the rules are, as usual when Sazzle's here, one sip per... Can, I have a yes. Can you open that, please, for Sarah? See, and the thought I couldn't do it. Have you seen that? So this is what Sarah's done. Can you explain the uh, procedures for if people want to do it at home? Go as does. You talking dog? Go Asda's. Go Asda's. Oh, Alright, you're from Lancashire now, are you? Go Asda's. Get pizza in the mix. Pour into the bowl. Well, we're going to make two pizzas, so we need to do the whole thing again in the other Add bowl. Warm water and stir into a bowl. Stir into the bowl. Stir into a bowl in the bowl. Sazzle's mixing the next batch up. Now she's thinking she's an expert at it. Would you like to talk, talk through the video? Yeah, I'm doing a, a repeat performance of the last one. We're just mixing it up after adding warm water. Right, what are you doing? Kneading. I'm kneading it. But it's a bit moist. So I presume you need you do all this. I watched my gran used to do this. I presume this is kneading. How, what's kneading, Sarah? Yeah, well, that's right. How do you know? I don't know what kneading is, that's right. Is this kneading? Yeah. Yeah, and use your knuckles and squish it down and... Squish it down? down. Gah, it's just from Lancashire now, isn't she? Right, what are you doing on it? I'm rolling the pizza dough. I'm trying anyway. It's not rolling, it's like rubber. I want to do what these Italians do when they go like this and they stretch it and... Because I need to make it fit that pizza tray. 
feels heavy and big. Well, I don't think it's 25 centimetres yet, is it? No, it needs to be 40 Around. because I've put two packets in. Well, the two packets in mine? Yeah. Oh, it's splitting, it's splitting. What do you do? What do you do? Throw it, baby red. And no, I'm not doing that. Right, wait a minute. I, I'll have to do it on surface. It needs to be it's flapping, it? it's flapping. It needs to be stretched. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, help me get it to the edges and then we'll fill the holes in in a, in a while. Can I swear? No. What are you doing? Because you've got to no, fold it No, no, we're not having stuffed crust. What do you think it is, pizza rolls? Hey, you tell us to fold it over. No, 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 it just means fold the edges up like that, as in run it up the edge of the dish, because it, when it proves, it's going gonna, it's gonna to expand. Okay. It might be stuffed crust. No. Why not? Because we haven't got enough cheese. What am I going to do with this hole? Mm. Stick some in it. <laughs> right, pull me some, pull me some dough from other areas that's thick, and then brown there as well. Oh, look what's happening on the floor. I know, Sarah's going to wipe it up in a minute. That's hey. it, tear. Don't. Right, we have to prove it now for, for, for 10 but minutes. But that's not oil filled. No. Oil filled? We didn't oil say oil it. filled. We put oil in the, the small right, one. Right, so up there is warmer, so we'll leave it there for how long did it say? Five minutes. Ten minutes? Ten minutes? Five? Which is it? I'll just double check. I'll sprinkle some flour and cover your worktop. So Sarah's doing the second one to see if you can do better than Nick. And then get the ball, put your, cover your hands in the ball as well because it'll stick. Where's the pizza tray gone? Have you put it away? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we could always have a square one this time. A bigger dish. What do you think? What do you think about a square one? Whatever. This I'm looks like it's going well, Sarah. Yeah, it does. I'm just kneading it now. That's very professional, Sazzle. Thank you. Yeah. I'll transfer it. <laughs> get it to edges. You do that edge. Oh, yes, yeah, Sarah. You should wrap it around the rolling pin. Before I put it in, though. Not, not after it's in. Right. You need to get off the because your hands are a bit... Tick right, would you please oil some cling fill for me? Moment. Get it to corners, look. Because if, if you don't, then it's going to be thick crust. Right, viewers, I want you to come in uh, 1 to 10 for mine versus 1 to 10 for Nick's. Mind you, mine doesn't have holes or plaster cover-ups. So no what, what um, have you just done, Sarah? So just all the cling fill wrapped it round mine, only to realise that Nick could be trying to sabotage mine because it is, is in a round pizza tray. pizza tray with holes in and he's done mine in a squarish yeah, but when you <laughs> without holes, so there's going to be a difference in the cooking, we think. That's just Sarah giving an excuse for when it goes wrong. When you cook a pizza, you cook it on a flat tray normally, don't you? And it doesn't burn. Don't you? It'll be fine. Don't you? Where it are don't, you from? No. Bandly. Bandly. I'm from Lancashire. Same and place and you. what's happening with them up there? Uh, the wait in 10 minutes. What's just, that word that's happening? Um, 10 minutes. Proving. Proving. Mm. Can you just tie this hazel up as well? Oops. You know. I need a penny. Oh. These are two pizza bases we've done. Right. I still remember Nick's Earl's. Do you know what to do now? I'm going to take the classic off and put his toppings on. Yes, but before we do that, we're going to mix up a special version of pizza topping that I've invented. So I'm just going down here into the um, into this little cupboard and I need to find that, which is called oregano, as the Americans call it. We call it oregano. Do you know what it is? Herb. What? Herb. Herb? Well, yeah, obviously. Right. Okay. Are you fingering my pizza? I'm 
I'm not doing anything, I'm just showing the difference. You've just made a hole. And you were saying about sabotaging. Look at that, what you've done. I didn't touch that part. Well, I'm going to put hammer pineapple on this, so this is yours. Eh, no. What we need to do is we need to put one jar of pizza sauce in. If you can pour that in without splashing it everywhere. Okay. And then you need to get about that much, maybe a bit more. Okay. And then you remember when we did the um, spicy sausage rigatoni video, we had tomato puree, which was so nice that I decided to buy some extra concentrated sweet stuff to mix in with the pizza sauce. Don't splash it everywhere. One last ingredient we need to put in a teaspoon of pesto. Is that fully mixed? Yeah. I want it extra flavoured. So, four blocks, just like in a pizza shop now. Spread it like this. It feels very satisfying. And you leave a gap at the edge. I don't know why, but when you see it in a pizza shop, they do that. So, I'm just going to copy. <gasps> Is that a hole? Oh, no, it's not. It's just. Um, Flour. <laughs> I thought it was that hole that you'd sabotaged in I my pizza. I didn't do a hole, I was showing that there was a hole. Not too much, otherwise it'll be too sloppy. Now that is one hell of a pizza. You got the spoon? No, I'm fine. Were you going to take an hour? <laughs> what is it you're opening? I'm opening um, pineapple chunks because I'm having pepperoni and pineapple flavour. My favourite flavour pizza ever. And what flavour are you wanting, Sarah? We're adding ham and pineapple. Yeah, mine looks better. Right, so... Now I need to do this without actually getting it all over the cooker, so... I'm going to pile it on the middle. Can I just get a knife, please, for my... Uh, if someone wants to get herself a bag and start doing the same... Bella, bella. Yeah, I'm gonna run out. Oh, yours has got far too much cheese on it. I hope you, like, you guys like cheese. Come on, round one. Right, sizzle. Chop me your ham. I'm having pepperoni. Mine's a double pepperoni pizza. Okay. So, that already looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe Lee's made me desecrate my pizza by mixing flavours. It looks pretty. Are you cutting the pineapple though? Yep. Oh, I want mine cut off, because mine are too chunky. So, one more ingredient that I need to put on mine, and you can put this on if you want. It's nine splatters of pesto. Have you got not a bit of Herbie? Herbie? You Herbie. mean oregano? Yeah. Yeah, it's in the cupboard. Which? Underneath. Is that some of yours? No. You sure? No, no, no. Just a little bit is fine. That weighs an absolute ton. Now, I'm quite scared that the actual bread underneath is not going to cook. And yours haven't got any holes, so probably yours isn't going to cook anyway. Sabotage. I did tell you. Oh, wait a minute. Mine's squidging out. <laughs> oh no! All the pizza squidging out the holes. <laughs> no, sabotage it and poke it. So, top of the oven. Ow! Ooh, almost. 225, 240 ish degrees. Let's set it for 10 minutes so we can have a check back. Oh, have you burned the pizza, Nick? Sarah's is burning, not mine. Too busy watching TV. Those are one with the gloves on. You've set the smoke on? alarms off. Me? Mine looks uh, quite good. We've swapped them round because mine's cooking. Sarah's so cooking and mine's not because I've got too much topping on mine. Maybe it's the holes in Nick's. Oh, I feel sticky. <laughs> yeah, mine's cooking 
throughout. Yours is just bending off top, it'll be sloppy underneath. So, the pizzas have come out of the oven. Sarah's already picking at them. No, we're just checking. Just checking. And now we just need to add the garnish and the colour to the pizza. Can I sell cream? Please. <laughs> you got some garnish on yours? Yes, yeah, just a little bit. Help yourself then, with a bag. You will like rocket everything. And whose do we think looks best, Sarah? At the moment, it's a 50 50. We you stop taking them off mine, <laughs> you greedy really swine? <laughs> so, viewers, vote who's got the best one, mine or Sazzles? Sazzles! Just bear in mind that mine is traditional, a traditional shape. It's got the nice colour, the symmetrical roundness. Sarah's is just a pizza in a pie. Well, it looks, no, like, no, no, it no. looks like a big pie, actually, Sarah's. I screwed up. No, got given the square base because they didn't. Have it does a look second. a little burnt that one around the edge. I did very well to get it in just the make sure um, it's crispy rectangle shape. I think it's held its shape very well. Does it come it out looks, the tray? Yep. Yeah, it feels hard underneath and crispy. Mine too. Don't manipulate it. I was trying to have a feel. You were trying to manipulate it and make it look bad. So I think all of the all... yours. <laughs> look at that. How can you fault that? Please tell me. <laughs> Apart from you, the bread has swelled up that much and I can't actually tell which is pepperoni and which is not. But oh well. Impressive. Yep. So that's Nick. Let us know in the Nick's. Let us know in the comments below what you think to Nick's. What do you think to this? And here is Sazzles. I think I've done what? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching today's What's Cooking. Ah, like, comment, and share.